Hey guys, what it do? It's your boy Supreme with Chiha the God. So this guy, uh, Why Webtoons and Crunchyroll failed. Uh, a friend of mine uh, and a, a, a fellow, you know, fan of the channel, you know what I'm saying? He uh, sent me this and told me that I should react to it and give my opinions. Now, I did not finish watching the whole video. Uh, I just watched like the first minute initially. And then I was like, okay, this is interesting and I, something I'm going to react to and cover. So here we are. Uh, reacting and covering, you know what I'm saying? So let's go right into and it. I, like many fans of web, when it was announced Sorry, that Crunchyroll would be teaming up with a renowned publisher on manhwa and web comics, Webtoon, I, like many fans of Webtoon, were thrusting their fists into the air. Finally, this amazing yeah, same. app where you can so read excited. amazing comics like Bastard, Sweet Home, I Love You, A Girl Downstairs, Third Shift Society, and the holy grail of Webtoons, Unordinary. Well, we could pop. <laughs> I mean, it's probably the most popular. I don't know about Holy Grail, but yeah. I'm, I, you know what? Let's go. I, actually, I'd give that shit to Tower God. I'm not going to lie. I think Tower God is just better, but possibly you know, it's okay. Possibly maybe seeing an anime adaptation the likes of which could have possibly never been seen before. So eventually the time mm. had come, and it's time to see what webtoons were showing, what they were adapting. Well, this is what we got. Tower of God, a long-running shonen-like series popular for its story and slower paced but intriguing plot the god of high school a shonen like series another one and no bless an another shonen like series what the hell quickly um okay so he's making it sound like the shonen idea is a bad move and i don't know i feel like Watching these shows, that wasn't a problem for me. You know what I'm saying? Noblesse just reading it annoyed the shit out of me, especially that last arc. It was so trash. But, like, I like I liked Noblesse up until that last arc. That last arc was garbage for me. To, to me, it was doo-doo. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I, I stopped Noblesse. I just, I, I, I was so annoyed. It, 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 the story for me went nowhere. There was nothing I gained from reading that damn story. You know what I'm saying? Um, And then... When it comes to Tower of God being the choice, I think Tower of God was the smartest choice you can make. It's probably the most popular, the the, the longest running, big, well known show in the in, in, in you know what I'm saying webtoon in the goddamn website. So I felt like that was such a safe and smart decision. I just felt like they didn't put the they didn't choose the right art style, which I tried to defend. I really tried my best to defend. I tried to overlook, but while watching it, it just felt so clunky. And it did not... It seemed like a kid's show type shit. And Tower God is anything but that. They really should have just went with the regular 2D animation. I felt like that would have made it so much better. They also cut out parts unnecessarily. Like... What? Like, those scenes cut out that made no sense. Like, Bam uh, didn't want to stab the, the, you know, the guy with the many eyes. But in the show, he just automatically was about to stab. And people are like, wait, this motherfucker is just about to stab somebody just off the bat? Like, but if you read it, he's hesitating. He's thinking about it. He doesn't want to do it, but he feels like maybe I have no choice but to do it. Until Aguero is like, yeah, you don't have to do it. And he's like, thank God. You know what I'm saying? But that's not like, that's only like 20 seconds. You could add that in. And it, it gives so much context. And you know what I mean? I feel like the executive directors, all of that shit did a garbage job. I see why SIU Osu ref doesn't really want to uh, do season two right now. I feel like Webtoon rushed it. And they didn't have the budget for it. Now, when it comes to God of High School, again, Shonen is not the issue. I actually like episode one and two of God of High School. Um, I just feel like it's way too fast paced. Like there was no chill. It's it's like Jujutsu Kaisen, but without the the same gravitas. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen. I read it, and it's ridiculously fast paced. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's fucking stupidly fast paced. But I like the character so much, I kind of overlook some of these flaws. You know what I'm saying? We got a high school thus far. I like the main guy, and I like the, the girl so far, but I don't know... Is it even a girl? I can't even remember. I, I don't really know these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like it's important for me to know these people. So, I don't know about Shonen being the problem. If they chose something like Unordinary, I don't know if Unordinary would make a good good show, to be honest. I think we're getting we're annoyed by the whole fucking John thing already, just reading it. I can't even imagine in a show. But, uh, you know, maybe maybe they should have chose... I think, like, Noblesse maybe wasn't the best choice. I, I will agree with you there. I don't think Noblesse was the best choice. 
Um, I don't know about God of High School because I've never read the full thing. Uh, so I, I don't want to give an opinion on that. But I, I would agree, maybe they should have given us some variety. I would go Tower of God, Bastard, and maybe... Um, I don't know, Windbreaker would be lit as fuck, but I know they would never do it. But I think Windbreaker would blow the fuck up. Because biking is huge right now. It's popping off in the UK. It's popping off in the States. It's popping off on TikTok. I feel like if they... If they had foresight, they would have went with something like Windbreaker and then something. But so maybe, you know what? Maybe I kind of get you. But I don't, again, I don't think Shonen was that bad of a choice. But maybe, yeah, maybe I kind of see, you know what? Maybe I kind of agree with you. Let's go. literally became a joke on my podcasts, videos, and even in my Discord server for how samey and how bad they were. But... But they're not saying me. I, I wouldn't say God of High School and Noblesse and Tower God are saying me at all. They're very different stories. Yes, they're both they're all kind of shonen, but I would not say those same me. I would disagree How with that aspect happen? of it. Well, I aim to get to the bottom of just why in this video, so before we begin, let the algorithm know this video exists by giving this video a like. My community group. I would just want to skip that. A total okay, cool, cool. Listen, but yeah, yeah, yeah. to not want to cast the Okay, it's the so, vast majority, and I'm sure they were thinking they can make a quick buck and appeal to a wider audience if they just made a series that appeals to meatheads. And honestly, would you not want to cast the widest net available if you were a businessman or woman? If you have series like these on tap, it makes the most sense. But in reality, Tower of God, The God of High School, and Noblesse are simply three series that were the worst choices to adapt first. Besides The Tower of God, which I think could stay in the lineup, I think I think limiting all three series to be just shonen like watered down experiences that we've had for decades in anime severely handicaps any chance webtoon anime have of being successful. Honestly, with God of High School and Noblesse and shit, I actually don't feel like, as much as I agree with, they should have probably went with a more diverse lineup. I think that. The animation and the budget is what's stopping these shows from succeeding. And that's really it. The budget, it, it's like, it's like, uh, um, you guys remember, uh, One Punch Man, right? One Punch Man season one was one of the greatest seasons of any anime ever made. Period, right? Mainly the animation was absolutely phenomenal. And that made such a huge difference, right? We, I don't know if people underlooked it, but season two, the animation was doo doo. Right? Season 2 was still good, but it was trash if you compare it to Season 1. Season 1 was so elite, so top tier, mainstream media, mainstream non-anime fans got into that shit. Right? Season 2 was so garbage, people, people, even anime fans was like, ah, man, shit, this shit was hot doo-doo. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's, that's kind of where... I think the problem lies. If season one of One Punch Man was animated like season two of One Punch Man, nobody would be, you know, shoving it way high up the stratosphere in quality animes if it wasn't for season one's animation, right? The fight scenes were flawless. Everything was phenomenal, spectacular. They they essentially one to one the 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 web the the, the comic sorry the manga and and the anime. You know what I'm saying? And it made it made it phenomenal. So my main argument wouldn't necessarily be that yes they could have diversified it but i don't think that's what let it down i don't think that's really what handicapped it i think the animation and the budget is what handicapped it even um uh got a high school would seem to have i think noblest i haven't seen noblest yet but i think that looks like the best animation just looking at like screenshots tower god is definitely the worst animation got a high school is okay but the fight scenes are weird and they all got this weird red pointy nose and it's just like those details matter because a lot of people that want to watch some shit first First impressions is absolutely pivotal. It's absolutely key. You know what I'm saying? But let, let's hear what more he has to say. The reason is quite simple. Webtoons are not manga. They cannot compete with series like Boruto, One Piece, and Demon Slayer. They can compete with Boruto. Boruto doo-doo. Just saying. The, the manga is okay, but the anime is absolutely trash. So I, I don't know. But it's for kids, I suppose. While Webtoons, 
it's not really for These kids. These series are to be too popular and well known, and will outshine them with ease. Not that it's a competition per se, but people will make those comparisons. And the point, really, of what I'm saying is that this partnership should have played to the strengths of webtoons rather than do the most generic thing possible by adapting series that are trying to be like shonen. Maybe 10 years ago, these adaptations could have worked, but I felt Crunchyroll and Webtoons made Webtoons itself look worse as a whole after this failure of a collaboration creatively. Accentuate the strengths, hide the weaknesses. By not playing to Webtoon strengths, they essentially, well, made the app and site to casuals look like a site for Shonen fans. I don't agree with that as well because I feel like all of those shows that they picked are were extremely popular. It's not like they just chose uh, like we know that the romance genre is probably the most popular, the drama romance genre is probably the most popular on webtoon. Um but I I, I can kind of see why they would go with that because at the end of the day, uh I know webtoon has a high female uh market which is way higher than most uh web like com comic book manga you know those genres is way higher way 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 higher it's it's extremely high um but i feel like yeah maybe all of them are a bit too boy catered apart from maybe tower of god i think god of high school is pretty male catered like if you if you know if you're looking at it uh you've never read the, the webtoon or whatever um it seems extremely male orientated uh, well, I think Unordinary is definitely opens up that female market. Uh, I think that's very pretty untapped when it comes to typical, um, typical uh, anime. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying like you know, obviously not the usual do do what I can't even say the word, but you know the usual romance shit. Like I think it's it's pretty untapped. Uh, I know those female Naruto fans, those female Dragon Ball Z fans. I know, but in terms, if we look at the numbers and crunch the numbers, it's definitely majority male, right? So uh, I think they they definitely have an untapped market. A lot of women outside of the 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 web sphere don't watch this shit. You know what I'm saying? And I think it it, it would would have been a smarter decision to use that to the to advantage to the advantage. You know what I'm saying? To open doors for people uncultured. But, yeah. Which in reality, Webtoon's strength doesn't have anything to do with these watered-down shonen-like series. When I list off these anime, keep in mind they are some of the most popular series on the site. And they're not any of them really shonen. I Love You is a romantic comic. Unordinary is an action comic. Sweet Home is a horror comic. These three series would have been a much better fit than whatever the hell we got. Uh, I Love You... I like I love you, but I I put Tower God in there, bro. I think it for budget, man. I think Tower, yeah. But it's supposed actually. You know what? I agree with him just because if they knew the budget was this limited, that I think that's that's how I would have said it. I think if if I was to say his opinion, I would say that if they knew the budget was this limited, they should have kept away from Shonen because Shonen works well with good animation and big budgets again using one punch man as a great example right the animation in season two really took away from what season two was and could have presented right so i feel like it was definitely uh important to for them to think of that okay we have shitty budget what shows can we do that doesn't require that much of a budget and i think sweet home uh, is definitely one or bastard whichever one they would chose there would have been fine uh, i definitely think um unordinary needs a budget but it's way more doable than tower of god god of high school uh noblesse etc right uh maybe not noblesse i think it's it's about as doable as noblesse um yeah later seasons of noblesse definitely needs a higher budget but i think it's kind of yeah I, I yeah i think budget wise i don't know about an ordinary if that fits still but the powers are pretty basic so that might work and it's more to do with the drama and you know what i'm saying it's not really to do with the action scenes um but i feel like an ordinary isn't necessarily a strong suit it's see a lot of the episode would be samey but I, I feel like it, it, it would it would shoot them in the foot less by by going with those three choices so i can't really disagree with you 
Um, I can't but disagree with you. as well, shows off three beloved series that most people consider to be the pinnacle, or at least popular enough, to represent the variety of webtoons. And that's the thing. Tower of God, God of High School, and Noblesse just don't inspire optimism or excitement in most people. They don't get people excited because all of them are just shonen series that are watered down. And I'm not talking about their source, I'm talking about the anime adaptations themselves. Because like I said earlier, I would have been perfectly okay with Tower of God because that series seems to be interesting. It may not have the most original concept, what series in the last hundred years truly does, but even so, the Tower of God was exciting to see because we know it has a track record to back up its popularity. But the reason people lump Tower of God in with bad webtoon anime is because of one thing, rushed adaptations. That's right. And a crossover that many people were excited for, almost all of that went down the drain when people realized every single one of these adaptations were completely rushed, butchered, and had cut or missing story elements that would make them completely useless in terms of getting to experience yeah. the story it's based off of. A big example I is agree, that I agree with that. Tower of God is only 12 episodes and aims to adapt almost 100 chapters of content that, in that short period of time, most series probably could never be able to pull off. This isn't a Tokyo Ghoul re situation of adapting hundreds of chapters every couple episodes though, but man, it's close. Because of this, Tower of God cuts out important character and plot development like early on when Bam goes to knock on Rachel's door, but leaves for reasons without any explanation as to why. Well, in the original source material, it's revealed that during that scene, Bam figured it out in his head that she was Rachel, and as does anyone who has fucking eyes. But in the anime, you think Bam is a dumbass generic shonen protag because they simply just leave that important info out to you, the viewer. Why have have that scene at all if yeah i think tower god man uh man what a miss bro i was so excited for that bitch i watched episode one and i knew i gave it a positive review just because i wanted people to like give it a chance but man oh lord oh lord have mercy and y'all know i'll be cooking these shows y'all know i don't give a fuck y'all know i'll be cooking these motherfuckers you know what i'm saying but i really wanted to like this shit so bad bro you know what i'm saying you know i've been cooking the the the, the, the latest chapters of, of tower god heavy y'all know i've been getting hella dislikes forward because I, i'm rootless with the aggression you know what i'm saying i grew up in the rootless aggression era you know what i'm saying so you know i got that sauce with it so i just tell it how it is and it is what it is, but yeah, I can't wait to, for Tower Blood to be back at the same time. I know SIU will see you. I uh, said he's coming back. Thank God we missed you, if boy. You are going to cut out the reason it exists in the first place. You just made your MC look dumb, and you just made your writing staff look incompetent at best. Our MC is, is dumb God, regardless, but yes, which saw he looks dumber than ever. Amounts of excitement for it just petered out and was generally forgotten by the end of the season. Such a shame. But oh well, we have two more adaptations on the way, so the next one will be different. Right? Audible sigh. The same can be said for the God of High School. But to be honest, the story doesn't look that compelling or interesting anyways. The series as well is another 12-episode yeah. I think the story didn't seem that compelling. Even when I watched the first few episodes, it was like... It was fine, but it, 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 there was nothing to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't care about anything. I didn't care about anybody. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like characters are, are what sells. I think people forget that nobody cares about anything else but their character. If the character is lit, even if you don't have a lot of fight scenes, even if you don't have a lot of stuff, you can sell. You know what I'm saying? So adaptation that cuts content. To put this into perspective, episodes one to three is a whole bunch of fighting, no real story development, and then an episode four. Yeah, there's no development. Bam, there is a wedding between two of our characters. What? What happened? They were just fighting for three episodes and suddenly love sprouts? What the hell? Why are they getting married? Why do they even like each other? Oh, but you do know that Crunchyroll is so taking these shots of this cute girl in a wedding dress and using it to promote it on Twitter, which they actually did. Because you know, I'm starting to smell something in the air. Yeah. America thing. It's familiar. Money. Smell. Oh, that's the smell of it's the smell of money, boys. But I'll ignore that. 
I I actually feel like Crunchyroll. That's what Crunchyroll did. They used it as a way to get more subscribers, more paid subscribers. Uh, it's because they know that the webtoon sphere and the webtoon fandom is already used to fast passes. Is already used to paying in advance. And Crunchyroll essentially uses the exact same system with its episodes. Those always are. Uh, if you are a paid member, this episode is already out. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's what they wanted to use that collaboration as. It was just a money making scheme. I think for the others, it's 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 a good call to take it because they get they need they probably need that extra money so they can hire extra staff to help them make these goddamn webtoons better. Um, but yeah, it's disappointing at the same time. I'm not gonna lie, it's very disappointing at the same time. Wait for my book. Chapter one is coming January. Chapter one. I'm gonna drop it at a monthly basis, a chapter at a time. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, I've been on my writing space, writing Zen mode. I created most of the narrative in my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do you all right. I'm a, I don't know if I should drop it on YouTube or if I should, I don't know, maybe I'll review it. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, we'll figure it out. Smell for now because there's no way that Webtoon and Crunchyroll would sell out their most popular series for a quick buck. No way. Not uh nobody they likes did. money. Yeah. No one. This time, <laughs> God of High School though suffered a worse fate than Tower of God. It was forgotten about by episode five and nobody cared. Why? Well probably because it less, was man. a really bad adaptation. That's why. But hey, what about No Bless? I heard it got an OVA years ago, so it'll be interesting to see what production IG can cook up in their amazing state-of-the-art kitchen by giving that OVA a full adaptation. Oh, but wait! The anime series takes place after the OVA, which daps almost 100 chapters of the webtoon in about 30 minutes. Yeah, I don't have to tell you, I don't have to tell you why literally nobody is talking about No Bless right now, do I? Webtoons? Yeah, there's no hype. Zero hype. PlayStation 5 Crunchyroll was a faithful meetup of two webtoons well-respected companies in their own right that turned into a dumpster fire almost immediately. Why? Because well, well I've attacked Webtoon before, so you, 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 things, I don't really. know if it's All well three respected. All series were shown in wannabes. They had rushed adaptations, and third, you better believe they did this to promote the app and not at all make good art that is in any way good or memorable. In other words, these three anime were an elaborate marketing ploy to get you to say, "Read the Webtoon. The animes don't do it justice." You know that whole marketing thing. And you know what? It's you know what? That actually makes sense and it's hella smart in a way, right? Because people that kind of thought this shit had potential will go read the shit and be like, this shit fire and become fans of that. And then, but then what does it do for a country role? I suppose they got that quick book during that time period. Like, it's, it, it's wild. It's like a goddamn fiddle. We probably should be checking out Webtoons because these anime sucked and were entirely forgettable. And the Webtoons are better. And Webtoons is awesome. So, yeah. It worked. I fell for it. But even though I fell for it, I did it of my own volition. So, joke's on you. Or me. Maybe all of us. But hey, that is Probably what all they of us. decided to do with Webtoons in the end. They didn't want you to actually be invested in this series. They wanted you to download the app for Crunchyroll and Webtoon. These adaptations were lazy and made Webtoons, in my opinion, look like a joke rather than what it actually really is. Because in reality, Webtoons is a great app with plenty of worthy content to read and digest. But the issue with Crunchyroll Cross X PlayStation 5 Webtoons is that it's a cheap and transparent cash grab that nobody ever wanted to begin with. I mean, to be honest, I would have rather had a 36 episode adaptation of Tower of God than to have to watch a single episode of The God of High School or Noblesse. Who asked for these anime? I mean, who really was excited for Noblesse and goddamn God of High Noblesse School? Noblesse was a bad choice, I ain't gonna lie, bro. These two companies just didn't care about quality and there were sort of out of touch. They didn't care about getting out art that made you think. They just wanted it out there to promote their app and their streaming service. That's all. And I'm sure I'll hear in the comments how good, you know, these webtoons are, and that's fine. I agree. My point isn't to make fun of these series. I'm a massive... No, 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 no. I disagree. <laughs> I disagree. No bless is doo-doo. <laughs> I haven't read Go to High School because I just it just never interested me. Uh, but hearing from friends that I've read it, they were like, it it it, it starts off great, kind of like most webtoons, and then turns to trash, kind of like most webtoons. So no, <laughs> well, most shonen webtoons. I don't want to say most webtoons because the romance 
Romance be killing this shit. So is drama for the most part. Webtoons. I have my whole second channel and, and, and horror webtoons. I talk about webtoons almost all the time over there on my second channel. I I'm a great big fan. I promise. My point is though, is I want good. I'm kind of a fan of these series where there is effort put forth. <laughs> nah, I'm so a when fan. I say nobody wants these things, nobody wants bad adaptations. I'm pretty sure. I hope. The reality is they didn't try, and we'll probably never get another webtoon adaptation again. And you know what? Good. Do oh, not we will. touch an ordinary. <laughs> Or sweet home or bastard. Stop touching stuff. But even if we do get another, I I I I'm kind of annoyed at how highly coveted he puts an ordinary in this bit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie. I'm kinda salty with that. I I know that it's not that Magnus opus, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? If we're gonna choose a Magnus opus for webtoon, it's not an ordinary, my boy. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely not an ordinary, my boy. You know what I'm saying? At least I think for the real, 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 I, like, come on, we know that though fan base is toxic as hell, toxic, or can be toxic as hell, but like, come on, I am not pandering to those motherfuckers like those, but come on, fam, no way we're going to act like another there is a Magnus Opus, it's good, it's all right, it's, no, it's good, it's good, I like it, I love it, you know what I'm saying, but it's not, it's not a Magnus Opus, you know, you, the Magnus Opus of Webtoon for me wouldn't be that, you know what I'm saying, I give it to Tower God, I give it to Tower God, and, and pretty much only Tower God. Maybe if we're going to have another genre, Bastard. You know what I'm saying? I'll give the Tower God a uh, sweet humor, Bastard. You know what I'm saying? One of those. And uh, if we're going to choose another extra genre, uh, maybe, let's say, I would say Windbreaker, but a lot of people be sleeping on Windbreaker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I know that some people want me to cover Red King or whatever. I, I will eventually, but shit, that shit was kind of... I was bored, man. <laughs> I read that shit. I ain't gonna lie. But we're gonna be back with that. It's been your boys appreciated God. I, I pretty much agree with him for the most part, although I think he covers the reasoning that I was I thought he should cover for the most part. You know what I'm saying? What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Comment that shit down below. This video was long as hell. God damn, this is why I don't do reacts, huh? It's been your boys appreciated God. Subscribe, like, comment, all I'm out. Subscribe, like, comment, all I got friends now. You ain't know, but I got friends now. I'm falling out with my friends, no You ain't know what I got friends, no